Okay, so let's go over assignment two. So I'm on canvas here. Let me click on assignments. Then go down and choose A2 assignment two. Then you'll see the A2 directions, click on those. So here's your directions. Okay, so here's your directions. Uh, so suppose a survey of 145 people were asked uh, what what fruit is your favorite? And here's a survey data collected. So we have different categories of fruits. Apple, orange, banana, kiwi, blueberry, grape. A number of people. So 35 chose apple, 30 chose orange, 10 chose banana, 25 kiwi, and so forth. So step one, we have to open a Google Doc and call it A2 Bar Plot Examples. So let's do that. Let's copy the title here. Now let me go to Google. Let me open a new tab now and go to Google. Okay, so we've opened a new tab. Let's type in a Google Docs here. There it is. Click on it. Choose Google Docs. Now I'm going to choose a blank document. So click on the plus sign for a new, new blank document. Okay, now let's change the title of our document. So click on the untitled document up here and paste our title. Okay, so we've created our Google Doc now. Now let's go back to our directions. Here's my directions here. Let's take all the directions and paste it into our new Google Doc. Let's go down here. Control C, go back to our, our Google Doc we just created and paste our directions here. Okay, so scrolling up here. So I've done step one now, just take it away. And step two says, in your Google Doc, write the R code that would generate a horizontal bar graph of survey results above that names each bar in the graph after the fruit it corresponds to, labels the main title as favorite fruit, and so forth. We And, and colors the guys different colors here. Let's just go through and start writing this. So first we have to uh, get our data, get R to read our data. So let's, let's I'm going to write the R code right here. Let's call it five fruit. Let's take away the bold on that. And you're going to put, you're going to define a vector. So you're going to put your less than sign minus C and then parenthesis. Then your vector value is going to be 35 for the first fruit from the apple. Then 30 for the oranges comma, then 10 for bananas, and 25 for kiwi, 40 for banana, and 5 for grape. Okay, so we've done that. Now let's start doing the uh, bar graph. So in R, we're going to uh, use the function bar plot, which is here. So we bar plot of our 5 fruit vector. Let's take that. You have to, whatever you call it up here needs to be identical down here. Okay, so uh, then it's a generate horizontal. So we need a horizontal bar graph. So to make a horizontal, you have to use the following. So you have to use uh, this H O, let me put space here, H O R I Z equals true. You can't spell out the horizontal all the way, it just has to be written exactly like this. Because by default, R is going to make a vertical histogram. So you want a horizontal, you have to put a horizontal true here. Okay, so a comma. So we got the horizontal bar graph uh, that names each bar in the bar graph after the fruit it corresponds to. So to do that, you're going to have to use uh, names.arg, something right here. So we use names.arg. That's going to name each of the bars in our bar graph. And then C. So our first name, we want it to be apple. You have to put it in quotation marks. So apple. Then comma. Our next name is going to be orange. Quotation marks. Next name banana. So banana. Next one kiwi. Next one blueberry. And last one, grape. 
and then at the end you're going to put the parenthesis to close it so you've done that okay so let's keep going okay so we've done let's take away the parts we've done so we've uh, horizontal part we've named the bar bars now after the fruit corresponds to so we've done these parts labels the main title as fab fruit so main equals quotation marks uh, so favorite fruit then put your name so maybe this and let's take away this color And we're going to put, so you're going to put your name here. So I'm going to put Professor McLaughlin. Okay, then uh, close with a quotation. Then a uh, comma. So you've done labels, the main title part. Now we do need to do the X axis next. So the X axis is going to be then X lab equals. So for that number of people, okay, uh, then Y axis so Y lab. That's a type of fruit. Okay, so we've done these two. So what's left is the colors now. So let's do that. Okay, so to do the colors. So let me call me here. Let's do the colors down here. So it'll be C O L. This time the colors uh, is going to be a vector. So the apple guy is going to be green. So it'll be in a uh, quotation marks. Then the orange will be orange. Then the banana is yellow. Separated by commas, each of these, and then the kiwi will be brown. And then the blueberry would be blue. And lastly, the grape would be red. So we close the vector with a parenthesis. Then when I close the whole bar graph, the whole bar plot, this parenthesis up here needs one close at the end. So put one here too. And I think that we're done with now the R code. So we're done with step two. Let's take that away. Okay, moving on to step three. Okay, so let's go to step three. Actually, I just noticed something here. Uh, F, beside brown, uh, missing this isn't quite a quotation mark. There's a mistake. Some, somehow I must have did something incorrectly. That looks fine now. It needs to be exactly with quotation marks around it, otherwise R will not read it correctly. Okay, it looks like we're good now with uh, step two. Okay, let's go on to step three now. It says paste your R code into run our script. Okay, so let's do that. Let's take our R code. Control C. Now let's go to run our script. So let's open a new tab and type in the top R command.com like this. That takes us to run our script. And you should be signed in from last time. If not, uh, you can go back and look at uh, assignment one how to lo uh, log in. So clicking on this. Okay. Then get rid of this. Paste our our output uh, our uh, code sorry here, and then let's run it. So press run run a script, and then scroll down to the bottom. And there's our bar graph. Let me open a new tab. So let's double double click on this. Double left click on it. When your mouse opens a new tab. Okay, so I believe uh, they want us to. The next step is to paste this into your Google Doc. So you're going to right click on it and say save, uh, sorry, uh, copy image. Let's go back now to our Google uh, Doc. Okay, now I'm back in my Google Doc here. Uh, we've done step three, so let's take it away. And we're going to do step four right now also. So let's uh, below our R code. Uh, so control V or you can, uh, sorry, you can say uh, right click and say uh, paste so there's our bar graph and there's our R code 
Uh, let's take away, uh, let's see. Yeah, we can take away the table on the to uh, top here. We don't need that anymore. Let's take that away. Okay, so we have then our R code and our bar graph below it. So we've done step four. Okay, now let's do step five. So step five, we just have to submit our assignment by sharing link. Uh, so anyone with link can view. So I click on the share button up here. Then go down to the bottom and say change link. Uh, right now it's anyone, uh, anyone in this group with link. I want to anyone uh, with link in view. So this one here. Then uh, click on copy link and then done. Okay, we can take step five away then here. So again, here's my completed assignment. I have my R code on top and my bar graph below it with all the features it has for. Okay. So now let's submit it. So to submit it, I'll, I'll actually, I'll wait here and let you look at the R code for, for about 30 seconds. So you can copy it down if needed. Okay, so uh, now let's go to assignment two on Canvas. Go back, so I'll go back to Canvas. And I'm, uh, here's my assignment two. So now I'm gonna press on submit assignment and go down to the text box where it says website URL paste our guy here. And then I will go down and say submit. Okay, so we have submitted, uh, so we're done now. We've submitted our assignment, so we're done with uh, assignment two. Okay, so that's com that completes the tutorial. Okay, so we're done.